Welcome to Canadian Tire Mo Motorsport Park to get ready for the first ever race at the Lopnaw's Canadian Tire Series. Oh wait, no, there's no time. On behalf of the many great folks at Bass Pro Shops, Tracker, and MBA. Gentlemen, start your engine! There is the command. It's pretty much a mixed field, if you didn't notice. There's two types of Dodges, two types of Fords. Uh, there, uh, there's only one type of Chevy that's in Paul SS. But there's actually. Here's one of them. There's Kyle Thomas, who has a new version of the Ford, and drivers like DJ. No, wait, no. Drivers like uh, yeah, DJ Curtis has the old-fashioned Ford. You can tell by the grills. And all right, pace cars out. We're getting ready for the vortex break. Something, something. Two hundred green flag. Green flags out in the air. Man, it's gonna be a nice, exciting race. And look at the O2, already did not have a good start, slid up high really fast. Oh, driver is trying to crisscross move already. Watch out for this corner, this is where everything danger, and one driver is already slid off the track, that's a 15 car. Oh no, that's Nick Perculus, this stuff. Caution ain't out, caution ain't out. It's away from the leaders, we go green, we stay green. Now here's the corner where everyone tends to mess up a lot. This is where you get the lead and the old the what the button. The old two already lost with Mason Wood all the way through the grass. That cost him a lot of spots. This is a fuel mileage race. Pretty much everything is a fuel mileage race. May Shelley in command with a huge gap. Gonna try to leave the first lap, get those five bonus points. So she is the first driver to lead the first ever lap, but now we're under caution this time. And oh, we got a big crash, I think. It's one of the green cars. I, I, I couldn't tell which number. There's a lot of green cars. Well, caution is out. Keep swapping the cameras too much. Yeah, sorry about that. May Shelley is your current leader as we take a look at the replay of what happened. Not good for the 15. Running in current was running in second, loses control of the car, wanting to go clear the O2 car. Try to lock up the brakes, lock the brakes, could not steer. Bam. That was a terrible wreck. Now that green car was Amy Shelley. Let's skip on on my head. Uh, let's take a look here. So he's going through the hills, trying to battle Chris Co uh, Christopher Kale, and then he gets attacked by the 99 car of somebody, Tyson something, I don't forgot the name, and gets turned right in the... Oh, that's a huge crash. Look at those drivers drive up on that uh, banking. Hard crash for Amy Shelley and the 15 of Nick Perkusless. Now I'll take you back to the restart. As we get ready to go back to green, two drivers are out, pit stops were in effect. A lot of these drivers are coming down pit row when we get the signal to go back to green. The green flag is back in the air. You know, that could be a good strategy move. Because a lot of drivers, a few drivers did that before they end up winning the race. But not guarantee you will. Because this is very early in the race uh, to, to make that move around when the end. End of the race! Noodles newly shoots our track and hard into the wall, into tire barriers. Oh man, again. Ca I don't I don't believe the caution's out. Okay, we might be able to see the lights. No, we're not. But the truck's supposed to have the lights on, so... Oh wait, no, there we go. Yes, caution is out for Noodles. Colin Martell, your current leader. Here comes the 999 of Tyson Board. Caution is out. The 99 trying to take the advantage. Tom Martel still leading this race. Of course. Alright, caution is out. 
Colin Martell is your leader. He'll lead us on a caution. Followed by the number 99, Kyle Tyson Ward. Third, Kyle Thomas. Fourth. No, wait, no, he's third. Then Jim Shelley. Then Mason Wood. Caution's out. Oh, wait, we have another wreck. That's Ben Siebert. Okay, we'll take a look at the replay first. So, what happened? You see, News in Italy just lost control of the car, of course. See this little part? You can't go there unless you're, you've uh, hit the brakes enough and not hit too much and do not accelerate that much. And that might have brought out the caution, but what happened to Ben Siebert? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Back up, back up. Whoa. There's a, there's a lot of hills over here. See this? Watch this. They go up the hill. Bang! And rocket launches. Oh man! Joseph Curtis in the 47 car. Nowhere to go. So I think that brought out the caution. Now I saw another driver wrecking on the front stretch. What oh, wrong driver? That was Mark Gillette. I saw him go around. I don't know what happened, but uh... So he was already right, he was way back in the field. Now we go fast forward. Oh, that's Christopher Kale who went around. Okay, let's take a look at this. He lost control. This is another part where he can lose control. He didn't hit it that hard. So I don't think that should damage a lot of a lot. So then here comes the five. Nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Bang! Went in the driver's door. Oh my god, near the goes upside down. And it glitches right through the wall. They need to fix that wall. But uh, of course, I don't know, there's only two versions of this track, and this is one of them. The other one's only for online. And wait, what? I didn't see that car crash. Uh, let's take a look at that. Same situation. And now any car just shots, shoots off the track. Was contending for the championship in the American Ethanol series, but wasn't enough. To beat Kevin White. Now he'll take you back to your do to the restart. Here we go again. More drivers going down pit road trying to make do the strategies. The green flag back in the air. Wesley Walk did not pit. Now takes over the lead. See how they go get off that corner. Really smooth. Uh, that's pretty much realistic. That's how realistic I it gets here. See some drivers doing the pit pit on the before the green flag waves, which is just a little. Never mind. I don't know what to call it. Has been done. It's not new. If if you, if you actually watch the full races, which I know most of you don't, you would have seen it. Now new leader. You see how the 21 car messed up right there. That's the corner where. Most of the, most of the passes are being made. The number 67 car of Nicholas Guerra now takes over the lead in, I believe, the Impala SS. Yes, we race Impala SS. Too bad there's no Canadian tire mod. There's something called Cast Car, but that's not the Canadian tire thing. These are 2013 schemes, by the way. So now Nicholas Guerrero up to the lead. One more lap till we reach halfway. There's Christopher Kale, who had to go down pit road once again because of the extended damage he got from that wreck. They are gonna catch him for sure. Cause look how look how close they're getting. But that could be wrong. That could be right. Now let's take a look at the back of the pack. And everything goes smoothly. There's Henry Noble all the way at the back because he had the pit. I believe. Here's the rest of the drivers. Okay, got some more passing to do. Looks. Yep, I was right, looks like. Nicholas Guerra has caught Chris Mateo. He'll lap him down.
waiting for the halfway. The flag man is now showing the halfway mark. Take a look at Chris Kale, you never know. Leslie Rock makes a little bump and run. Chris Kale didn't appreciate that. He put him back. And we got a caution. Oh, that's John McNamara in the number 69 car. More driver, like James Shelley hits the wall. Hard tire barrier, man. And these tire barriers are really dangerous. Well, we're gonna race it back to the line because the leader took. Well, the, the race was still on the green, and the leader crossed the, crossed the line to 40 yard flat, so of course they're gonna race it back. Now, Christopher Kale, he's not one of those drivers that you want that uh, retaliates, but man, did he retaliate. Even though he is slow traffic, I don't think he appreciated what Wesley Rock did to him. He just rammed him up the hill, even though Christopher Kale was giving room, but Wesley Rock still got into him. Well, I don't know which side should I go on. Wesley's? Or my friend, Christopher Kale? Eh, whatever. Well, now here we go. So, Nicholas Guerra is still your leader under the caution flag because you take a look at the replay of what happened. Take a look here. He tried to battle with one of the cars, then tr gets pushed. And he gets pushed. That shoots off John McNamara's car hard into the wall. Now, let's take a look at the. Uh... Wait, hold on. There's another wreck. Oh, 38. Not sure. Hold on. Oh, wait, 39. I'm getting confused with now. Okay, you see these two drivers made contact. 39. Well, the caution didn't come out when the 30, uh, 69 John McNamara's car. They made contact. Ash Curtis gets loose, takes the 28 out, and takes himself out. Sort of. That brought out the caution, but... Then the 13 lost control, that's Drew Austin, who was so close to winning here in the trucks, but could not. Now we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, we're getting ready to go back to green. Kyle Thomas, your leader. Christopher K.O. took his lap back, looks like. And the green flag is back in the air. I'm looking Colin Martell already trying to take the right lane to make the move for the lead, and he does. He takes the lead. From the first corner, and he's gonna see if he can clear the O2, but the 17 might be in the way. Oh, yes, he will. Some drivers have to go right through the grass. Colin Martell, seeing if he could get past that 17 car. No, we won't. Now there goes the 56 of Jeff Rock. Takes over second. Paul Martel still in the lead while Jeff Rock is all the right on his bump, bump, back bumper. Oh, trying to make the move on a 17. Little tap. He's, oh, I thought he was going down pit road. They're going side by side for the lead. And Colin Martel will lead this time. And now the 17 gets locked once again. Oh, Jeff Rock is going to see where he can make his move. Get past that slow driver number 17 equipped for Gale. <gasps> This league actually has a lot a lot of dodges. I can tell you that. There's Tom Gerard. All the way at the back. Last car on the lead lap. 30.66 seconds off the lead. And Christopher Kale through the dirt and that puts Jeff Rock. Now that gives Jeff Rock the momentum. Trying to take the lead. He's gonna take to the right side of Colin Martell. Oh man. Will he make it stick? Here comes a turn. This is his chance to make the move. Oh, 
Oh, sorry for the random lag. It does that for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, hold on, let me let me fix. Okay, uh, I had to cut off a little bit, and we're still green, hopefully. And I just think I saw someone. Uh, Colin Martell gets his lead taken away by the number 56 car. Racing really hard. Now there's uh, Kyle Thomas, who fell back just a little bit, but uh, he's trying to gain his ground back. Here's a chance for a lot of drivers. There he goes, Colin Martel. Side by side for the lead once again. Dodges, dodge versus dodge. Mm-hmm. Trying to clear him, trying to make the move. Jeff Rock still has the lead. Oh, he shot off into the grass and oh no! Oh man! A heartbreaker as everyone wrecks. The caution is out. Oh man. The number 59 of Ryan, I mean, R. Kulut. That is actually a real driver. No one signed up for that car for some reason. I think only, only every, only people, only the people just check the uh, description for the numbers and not look at the video. Well, Jeff Rock might be happy, but does he have enough fuel to make it to the line? Because I didn't see him on pit road this late. Now we'll take a look at the replay of what happened. Colin Martel takes the lead, but he overdrove it in this corner so he can clear the 56, but he can't, and then he runs right into the wall. That brings out the caution. Then there goes the 59 car. Nowhere to go, and then there's Christopher Kale. Bang! Right into his nose. That causes our final caution. We'll end this race under yellow. And we'll take a look who will win this race. And oh, there goes a 97. And doesn't. Never mind. Now we'll take you back to the finish. Well, look who won. Kyle Thomas. Looks like the 56 did not have enough gas to make it through. Kyle Thomas did. Now followed by May Shelley and Mason Wood as we take a look at the race results. Here's the rest. I already mentioned the top three drivers, so finishing fourth, Tyler Rock, fifth, Chris Kyle. Now to round off the last five, Nick Perculus, Amy Shelley, Scott Ferguson, Noodles Nui, and Drew Eaton's son. Hope you enjoyed today's race. We'll see you for the second one.